Hey guys, welcome back. So we are um, having coffee still. Where's your cup? It's on the other side. <laughs> it's hidden all these candles. We're having coffee still. Ooh, I can see this, the steam coming off my cup. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but instead of doing coffee and movies, this time we're going to do coffee and candles. So I've hauled a bunch of candles from um, various places, and I wanted him to help me in the video because they're all heavy in their glass jars, and you know what's going to happen. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I wanted to help her to show these. So we'll just get started. So it all got started when I um, went crazy for the Bath & Body Works Sun in White Pumpkin, which is this one. Look how pretty that is. Uh, I'll take the lid. You can take the lid off. So, <laughs> is it so they can smell it at home? No, it's like it's, it's white, white wax and it's triple wick. You can tilt it up because it's not going to fall out. You know, so um, I think the jar is really, really pretty on that. But anyways, I, I love the scent of that. And I had the concentrated room spray and then um, they didn't, I, they were out of it. And I wanted more of that scent in our house because I love it so much. So I asked him if he'd care if I get some candles. Um, and so I bought two of them. Well, he didn't care. So I bought two <laughs> yeah, of them. I was thinking, boy, you don't got to ask me to get candles. Well, you know, and I don't have my glasses on. What do you want to know? What does it say the notes are? They'll be in the bottom there. I think it's white pumpkin, clove. What does it say? White pumpkin. White pumpkin. Autumn, autumn. spice. And what am I thinking wait, now? white pumpkin, autumn spice, and I don't know the last one. Ground cinnamon with essential oils. There you go. It smells so good. It's such a good scent. It's like, <clears throat> it's not super cinnamony. It's more pumpkin. It's really mellow and smooth, and I really love it. So I bought two of them. I have one burning in our bedroom uh, that I started burning there. But um, yeah, this is what's in the uh, plug-in. Oh yeah, we too, have right? wildflower in that too. Yeah, so that's it. Is a really it does smell really good. I really like that one. So then once I got started down that rabbit hole, you know how that goes. So I ended up placing an order with Kohl's because they had their Sonoma candles on sale. And I kind of asked around some people in our Bath and Body Works, my Bath and Body Works group and, um, such if they, the Sonoma candles were good. Cause I had seen a post that they were on sale pretty cheap and uh, people said, yes, they were good. So I hauled a bunch of those. So that's going to be all these ones with the Silver lids, if you want to. All these two? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll show the Goose Creek later. So this one is called Holiday Memories. You know what? I'm going to have to put my glasses on so I can read the... Sorry. So I can read the notes. You can take the lid off them so it shows what color the wax is and stuff. And that's a triple wick also. And the notes on that are... Now this one, I don't know how it's going to go because it looks like the... The wicks are coated in wax. It'll burn. Trust It'll me. It'll burn off. Yeah. So the... Mmm. I know. I said I was going to drop them, but smell. It's yeah, good, it's isn't nice. it? So this one is... Berry, spice, and pine. So... And the label on it, it has like a Christmas tree. Looks really, really nice. So, yeah. That one was good. Okay... Then the next one is Spiced Holly Berry, and that's a triple, triple, uh, as you can see, the wax is three different colors. It's got the red and then the green in the middle, and I think the label is apples and such. Apples, apples and cinnamon. cinnamon sticks. Yeah. And uh, so the notes, and I think even though it's got three different colors of wax, it's the same scent all the way down to the bottom. And the notes on that are... Mold apple, spiced berries, and orange. Ooh, I love orange. Oh, okay, there is an orange on the label. Let me smell it. You can definitely smell the citrus in that. I love that. I want to get, at around Christmas time or, or before January, I want to get um, two probably of the winter three wick candles from Bath & Body Works because I love their winter scent. It's like pine needles and oranges. Oh, it's so good. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. So the next one is Gingerbread House. It's a brown wax, triple wick. <clears throat> it's. I was really surprised at these Sonoma candles, how strong they smell cold. Very gingerbready. Do you want to know the scents of those? Yes, please. The fragrance notes include ginger, cinnamon, and sweet vanilla. 
It smells good. I'm a foodie person when it comes to candles. I like food scents. This one is chocolate covered cherries and it's a <clears throat> triple, um, three different color wax, <clears throat> two shades of red and a white. So that's what the label looks like. Chocolate covered cherries. And then you can see the different color wax. This one was really strong. Yeah, you can smell it. I mean, I can smell all the way out here. <laughs> Let me smell. It smells really good. It does. <clears throat> all right. And that one is brandied cherries, chocolate fudge, and sugar. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that one's. I like that one. It's it smells really good. I was anxious to get this film because I want to start burning some of these. So. Okay. Oh yeah. Two of the same. Yeah, I bought two of those because I knew I would like it. Alright, well let me put that one over there then since we'll be covering it twice. So I bought two of the winter berry and spruce because that's one of my favorite scent combinations. And I think the label is so pretty. I love light blue and red together. And it's also one of those triple um, where the waxes are different. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. That's one of my favorite fresh smell it's one of, well that's this like the holly in it uh -huh. it's just one of those classic we have a holly bush up front i know it's gotten really big too it's growing yeah but um it's one of those classic christmas scents and i absolutely really really love it so what are the notes on that one? Oh. frosted berry holiday spruce and hints of vanilla i don't really smell the vanilla in that but maybe when it's burning it well so i got two of those because i knew i'd love it this one is holiday cookie, <clears throat> and I've actually okay. This one has is super super weak when you smell it cold, and then I've heard people that have purchased it and are burning it, and they say it's really really weak. It's very very light. You don't hardly. I don't know. I smelled it when I took the lid off of it. And it had a gouge in it when we got it. I ordered these um, like in store pickup, but I, it's not a big deal to me that it's gouged. I don't care. Yeah, but all things considered, they're all in really good shape. Yeah. So it's got uh, sweet vanilla cookie dough and buttercream. I don't know. To me, it kind of smells light, and it's got a Play-Doh smell to it. I'm not crazy about that one. I like it. But the, the cookies on it are cute. Yeah, at first I thought it was a, that gingerbread house. Like, you got two of those, but it's not. It's different. Of course, you probably already knew that, so... And then this is another one that I think is really weak, too. This is the Almond Snowballs. So it's a cookie. White wax, triple wick. And the fragrant... Let me smell. Yeah, that's really, really light also. <clears throat> and the fragrance on that is... No, I can smell the peppermint in it, so... That's weird because I knew there'd be some kind of mint. It's almond, peppermint, and cookies. But I can you can definitely smell the peppermint in it. Hmm. Frosted Woodland Pine is our next one. And it's a triple wet, uh, wick. And it's three different color wax shades of green and white. If you can pick up those... That's nice too. It's definitely pine, pineish. What are the notes on that? Are frosted pine, balsam fir, and frozen eucalyptus. Now we have pine trees all around our house and spruce, so we really used to like. Pine's a great smell though. So we get like pine and spruce. All if you've seen pictures, if you're on my Instagram or Facebook, you've seen pictures of our backyard before. You know how many pine and spruce trees we have. So this is a really they're really nice around here at Christmas, especially when there's snowfall. Um, and then this one is just balsam fir, and it's a green wax, like a darker green wax. And it's a triple wick also. Not that this has anything to do with anything, but those labels on there are kind of nice. Yeah, they're pretty. So, yeah. And they were really inexpensive at Kohl's. I mean, especially if you compare them to... You like, smell that one pretty good. Yeah, usually that stuff is pretty strong. Mmm, it smells nice. And the notes on that are fresh blossom, crisp fir, and cedar. Cedar wood, yep. Cedar wood. Alright, what's next? Um, the next Did one. Did you already do that one? <clears throat> this one. You can do 
you that one? No. I did get one from Avon. Um, that's this one. It was mm -hmm. in the pumpkin pie scent. Um, and it, I showed it in one of my Avon hauls, and I haven't burned it yet. So it's a triple wick. It's a soy candle. They put a paper cover over it. Oh. If you just turn it upside down, it'll fall off. So, and then it smells pretty, um, it, it smells pretty light cold, but I've heard from reps that have already burned it that once those get burning, they smell really, really good. <clears throat> so the notes on that one are, um, is it listed on here? <laughs> really? Uh, I don't see the notes on that, but it's ba your basic pumpkin pie scent. It's it's like pumpkin and spices and that. Okay, then also at Kohl's, I didn't know that Kohl's sold Yankee candles, and I used to back in my pre days before I met Keith when I was living in my apartment. <clears throat> she I, was living on the edge. I burned Yankee candles all the time. Like, I was a big Yankee candle person. I really, really loved them. I used to buy a lot of uh, Yankee candles. So when I saw that um, Kohl's had Yankee, I was like, hey, cool. So I picked up some of those, too. I got three of them. So we'll start. Which That's ones these two. Okay. So this one is, and the, the jars are so pretty. So this one is Perfect Pumpkin. Look how pretty that label is. And it wraps all the way around the whole <clears throat> candle. It's an orange wax and it's triple wick. Now, I haven't burned any Yankee candles in literally more than a decade. So... That's pretty, pretty strong. Mm, it smells really good. Um, let me see. Does it list the notes on the bottom? Or not? Uh... No, it just says perfect pumpkin, but um, <clears throat> but um, I've heard that Yankee carries a lot of soot now, but I don't know if that's true. Um, but I thought I'd give them a try because I haven't, like I said, burned any soot Yankee like as in soot cakes. No soot, as in S O O T. Ash. Yeah, like they get smoky and soot, like you can get soot on the inside of the jar and stuff. Oh, I thought it was like using it as an ingredient. Like the wicks get sooty and the smoke is oh, sooty. Okay. Yeah, I guess it probably wouldn't be good putting soot, like as in soot cakes in no. your candles. So this one is red apple wreath, and the the lid is really pretty. It's a textured lid. Uh, let's see if you can pick that. Yeah, there you go. And the label, I think, is really cute, too, for Christmas. And it's a red wax. Triple wick. Yeah. Let me smell. It's nice. There's cinnamon in there, and it smells like maybe apple or yeah, citrus. It's called red apple wreath. Oh, <laughs> red apple wreath. So definitely some apple and, uh, it's weird that they don't put the notes on the bottom of those, but that's all right. It smells good. Yeah. And then I also got one big jar candle from Yankee, which is that one on the right. And this one is autumn wreath, and I'm going to start burning this the day after Halloween. So that's the kind of Yankee candles I used to buy. I used to buy them in the big jars like that, and it's just a single wick. Um, and then, uh, I used to get the votives also. What's a votive? The little ones. They're like, they fit in a little cup. Oh, okay. Let me smell. That smells so good. It smells like citrus and cinnamon and, um, just really, really nice. I, I like that one. List them on there? Nope. No, I guess not. But I'm really excited to burn that one because... I love the scent of that. And then the last four candles I got were from a company that I had never heard of. Um, well, I'd heard of them, but I never had any experience with them, and it's Goose Creek Candles. So if you're a candle person, you know already that you know about Goose, Goose Creek, but I guess I'm new back to the candle scene, because like I said, we were only burning melts, or, <clears throat> or I used the concentrated room sprays from Bath & Body Works for a really long time. So I had seen... Um, one of the late people I follow on um, YouTube is Queen of the Girl Geeks. Her name is Bonnie. She buys uh, candles from Goose Creek. And then i seen other people refer to their Goose Creek order. So I thought, well, I'll check them out. And they were having a sale. Um, so I picked up two Halloween candles and two regular, like, that aren't seasonal considered candles. And um, the shipping came really fast. I was really worried that they would be broken because I'm paranoid to buy candles through the mail. I don't want them to become broken. And they packed them so good. They were in, like, those styrofoam egg crate things. 
Um, and then they had, they were sitting inside one and then they had another one packed over the top of it so they couldn't move around at all in the box. That really impressed me. The shipping was fast. Um, they come pretty and they smell really good. So we'll look at the Halloween ones first. So this one is called Poison Cupcake. So this is one of the Halloween ones. If you can see the, the label. It's a little, uh, witch's head on top of a cupcake. And it's a purple wax, which is kind of unusual. And I think it's, is it triple wick? Yeah, triple wick. No, double wick, sorry. Double wick. Yeah. And let me smell this one. Now, I don't know if the notes are on, I don't know if the notes are on the bottom of the jar for this or not. Uh, it... Let me put my glasses on and I'll look. <laughs> no, I don't see anything on there. I don't see it either, but I know it's supposed to be like chocolate cupcake and uh, icing, and uh, it's basically a cupcake scent. Smells like a poison cupcake. <laughs> right, which is delicious smelling, right? So I was really excited to burn this because, I mean, I know Halloween's just a week away, but I still wanted to burn this some. And then the other one that I got for Halloween is called Wicked Treats, and it's like a candied apple, caramel apple scent, and the wax on it is bright red. That's our cat hissing at nothing. Hissing at ghosts. He hisses at the air all the time. <laughs> is he just hissing at the air? I know, That's right? When I'm... we're talking about the Halloween candles, too. Isn't that funny? Let me smell that one. So it's definitely apple. Um, I think is it more candy apple or caramel apple? What do you think? <laughs> He's like, I well, don't know. Well, my expert <laughs> expertise tells me. I don't know. It's kind of got that hint of a caramel apple in it. Yeah. It's probably, What's, is that looks, what they show on the label? It looks like it could be either one. I'll leave it up to the viewer. <laughs> and then I got two more. But I think that's so pretty. That red wax is so pretty. They have they had a lot of really neat choices for Halloween. They had one called um, Ghost Stories. They had one called Black Cat. They had one called Trick or Treating. And the label shows like a silhouette of children going off to trick-or-treat really neat but um i just i picked two that i knew i like i'm a food person i like food scented candles as you can tell by this next one which is carrot cake so that's the double wick and here's you can see the pictures of the carrot cake let me smell let me smell Okay, what gets me about this one is cold. It's very, very strong, and you can, it, it's uncanny to me how much that smells like carrot cake, don't you think? You can even smell the cream cheese, like walnut or cream cheese nut frosting in it. It's, it's crazy to me that they can get it down to that, you know, that precise. But it smells exactly like carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. And then the last one is called homemade brownies. And it's brown wax, double wick. They have all different kinds of sizes, and they have melts and room sprays on that website also. But I just wanted to try the candles first and, and give it a whirl. And that's a really strong one cold also, don't you think? Yeah. It smells just it like It smells brownies. just like brownie batter, like brownies baking. Mmm, so good. So that is my candle haul, which is pretty decent-sized candle haul, I guess. I'm impressed. <laughs> I said to him, I'm like thinking, you don't know what you're doing. I said to him the other day when these came, the Goose Creek ones, I said, don't worry, I'm not going to go crazy and start buying a bunch of candles. And he goes, there's nothing wrong with collecting candles. And I'm like, do you even know what you just said to me? That's what I'm thinking in my head because I could do some damage. <laughs> but this is going to hold me for a while. Like I said, I do want to get... At least a week or two. Right. I do want to get the... um <laughs> What? <laughs> Just you might be a candle person because every time I've brought the jar back like this, you're like, let me smell. <laughs> I like to smell. I like the good smells. Um, but uh, I do want to go like so. I know that Bath and Body Works Candle Day is a is a thing. I know that's a big thing. I just because I'm in the Bath Bath and Body Works community um, previously just for body care and not candles but i know that candle day is a big deal and i know there's a lot of people that haul major amounts of candles like we're talking you know a lot of candles i'm not even i'm not even gonna go because i don't even want to deal with the crowds and stuff like that i don't even want us to to get into that just to save like 
two or three dollars because the other day they had buy one get one free when their, their candles are twenty four fifty, so they are buy one get one free so you're getting two for twenty four fifty, and then you had a twenty percent off coupon so that just about put they were like nine dollars and eighty cents a piece i mean that's not bad at all so you don't have to go on candle day to get a, get a good deal and i really want to get one of those winter or maybe two of those winter candles because i love that scent so much and I wouldn't mind having a vanilla bean Noel and a winter candy apple and a hot cocoa and cream and a vanilla balsam. I appreciate the smells, but I don't know how in the world you keep them all straight. Well, how do you keep your superhero people straight? <laughs> it's just your thing, right? Yeah. So, but that's my candle haul, you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll leave a link to Go Goose Creek in the description section below so you can check them out. Um... I was really impressed, like I said, with how quickly they, they came. And I signed up for um, text messaging, I think, on, on updates on my order, and they came. The only thing I will say about them is I get a ton of emails from them. And for some reason, they don't go in my um, promotional folder. They go right to my inbox. So I'm constantly getting alerts on my phone, and it's like a... a uh, email from Goose Creek, but they send a lot of coupons. I just got one the other day, 50% off. They send a lot of coupon codes, so. Was that candles or body spray or perfume or what that time? There was that one that you wanted, and I went into that Bath and Body Works, and I looked so lost that the lady actually <laughs> came over and grabbed me by the hand and pulled me through the store to, like, direct me to... It was when you were going to get me some Vanilla Bean Noel, I think, wasn't it, for Christmas? Or was yeah, it the pomegranate? Yeah, it was, it was for Christmas, whatever or it was. Or was it the brown sugar fig? I can't remember, but I know just <clears throat> the sweet gal that worked in there. <laughs> sweet just, gal? So, like, as soon as I walked in, I just had, like, such a look of, <laughs> of confusion. confusion and lost that she literally she's like she grabbed me by the hand and like led me through the store Aww. Yeah, yeah. she took care of my papa i guess well you did get the right one though didn't you yeah okay. well i like vanilla bean noel and i get that every year and you know it's seasonal right so it only comes out at christmas so i told him i want vanilla bean noel it only comes out at christmas so but now i'm really hooked on the um cns blueberry shortbread that came out last year, and I hope they have it again this year. And the hot cocoa and cream, so good in the body care. I love food scents. I love smelling sweet and all those food scents. I just really like that a lot. So, okay, that some was... of them. Uh, well, there's not any of them that are like overwhelming that you burn, but I know sometimes, man, they burn that stuff and it like gives me a headache. It's like so strong, yeah, sweet. Some, and then... some of them get overpowering, I think for yeah, sure. But I don't. None of those that you burn, I don't think, do me that way. Yeah, I've been burning the um, white pumpkin one in our bedroom. Uh, I've been switching back and forth between it and an Avon one I had from last year called um, Whipped Caramel Swirl. That I had bought some candles last year to show his demo, and then we gave them to his mom, but they never got burnt. So we, um, I had him pull those out, and I've been burning the Whipped Caramel Swirl. And that one's got some pretty good odor to it. Or not odor, but a scent. And you know what? Before I go really quick, I forgot. I left this out because I wanted to show you guys since we're having coffee. This is my new favorite coffee creamer. So I used to only drink the peppermint mocha. I was like a big... Uh, coffee mate snob. Yeah, coffee mate peppermint mocha. And I stumbled across this one and I tried it and I love it. So it's International Delights and it's Salted Caramel Mocha. It is so good, you guys. I... I am tempted to say that I might not be buying the peppermint anymore. I've been wanting that. I think I this is my third bottle of it, maybe. It is so good. It's not sweet. She'll be buying the peppermint, too. It's not too sweet, and it's um, it's really, really good. I, I really like it. It's, it is good. It's a good, bitter mocha, but not too bitter. It's like a slightly sweet, but more, mostly like a dark chocolate mocha flavor. It's so good. And you just need a tiny bit of it in your coffee. Uh, to flavor a whole cup. I mean, it's really, really good. So, and it's cheaper than the coffee mate. So, is it? Yes. Coffee mate's like three sixty nine a bottle, and I think that's almost a dollar cheaper. It's like two ninety nine, two eighty nine, something like that. It sure, wasn't on sale. No, I mean, even when it's not on sale, it's it's less expensive. So well, I don't know. Get it either way. It's nice. <laughs> he doesn't it's, care. 
<laughs> okay, that's all, you guys. I just wanted to share my candles with you, so now I can start burning one tonight while we watch our Joe Bob's Halloween Hideaway Marathon. Should Yay. be fun. All right, you guys. Have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.